Hello my sweet friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my art channel and I am so glad you have chosen to stop by today. Let's paint a purple pink rose in acrylic colors and finally turn it into a note card. These are the supplies I would be using for today's project. So let's dive into it without any further delay. Chapter number one deals with planning the background for the painting. I have a small piece of white watercolor paper in hand which has a pink watercolor background and I have used a stencil to add some effects. It is around four inches on all sides. So it's a square piece of 4 inch white watercolor paper. Let's move on to the next chapter that is painting the purple pink rose in acrylic colors. Here I bring in the brushes which I would be using for today's rose tutorial. These two are flat brush number 4. This is a flat brush number 3. This is a liner brush and this is a filbert brush. I pull out one of the flat brushes that is number 4 flat brush and I am bringing in the palette next. Let's see what are the colors in it. I have permanent rose acrylic color, pink acrylic color, deep magenta acrylic color, purple acrylic color and white acrylic color. I go ahead and dip one of the corners of the flat brush number 4 in purple and the other one in pink and I am trying to blend the colors well. I add a pinch of white to it so that is three colors on the same flat brush number 4. Blending the colors well is a very important part of the technique which I would be using today for creating the rows. Alright, so here is a little plate and that liquid which you see is acrylic retarding solution and it helps to keep the acrylic colors moving for a longer period of time. So dear friends, now is the time I begin with the purple pink rose painting tutorial. So I bring in my flat brush number 4 with a bit of purple on it and it is followed by pink and I'm just creating a very loose form of the rose. There you go friends do you see how I blend the colors very well before I go ahead and place the brush on the paper. So here I begin with the first petal of the purple pink rose. Now the painting technique which I would be using today is called stroke painting or stroke art and this technique is an amazing one because it helps us to create beautiful paintings in just one stroke of the brush. I have been using this particular technique in all my flower painting videos in this channel. In case you love to paint flowers or nature or bird paintings, I would definitely encourage you to have a look at the tutorials which I have uploaded. So essentially stroke painting is all about loading the brush with multiple colors at the same time and that helps us to create shading, blending as well as highlighting in a single movement of the brush. In today's tutorial, the focus is on creating a large purple pink rose because one rose says more than a dozen, right? You can see that I am trying to create the center of the rose and the petals surrounding it. 
So I started with more of purple on my brush and then I went on to add more of permanent rose and pink colors to the mix. You will see how the purple and pink blend together towards the end of the tutorial. Do you know friends that purple pink roses are rare? They are more popularly known as the indigo rose. They are fragrant and are a charming heirloom rose with luscious blackberry violet blooms. Purple pink roses are associated with royalty, luxury, opulence and they exude mystery and charm. But then, whichever color the roses, they are a blooming beauty with a touch of elegance and nature's artwork at its best. Hence, they are simply irresistible and hence my obsession with painting the rose. So here I'm trying to create the outermost petals of the purple pink rose. Adding more white to the purple layers on top. Actually, I really do not have a guide to follow over here and there's no sketch either. Hence, every time I make a move, I need to look at the bigger picture and check if the balance of the rose painting is being maintained. It's not tough, but it comes with practice. Here I'm trying to add little details to the petals. I also go ahead and use my fingers to, to blend the colors at times. Okay, so here I bring in my liner brush and I am trying to add some deeper colors, especially permanent rose and a bit of deep magenta to the crevices. Next I bring in my filbert brush to blend the colors. You see that? Essentially, I am trying to create more of shadows and lighter areas because painting is after all a play of light and shadows. And that is how you will be able to bring the rose to life. Here I am trying to create the sanctum sanctorum of the purple pink rose that is the innermost petals with the help of a liner brush and white acrylic color I would be going ahead and blending the entire area over there so that the white does not remain so stark I'm trying to suggest there are many more petals inside, hence those lines. That is a tricky one, right? Hope you're enjoying the painting so far and I hope I'm doing justice to the purple pink rose. Next I bring in my liner brush with acrylic white on it and I'm trying to highlight the edges of some of the petals. Back to the outermost petals I'm adding more of white to make it look nice and fluffy. So dear friends my purple pink rose is ready and I think it's looking good so far. 
let's move on to the next chapter that is painting the greens here my focus would be to create a green background with less of leaves as there is very less space available around the flower here are the brushes i would be using my flat brush as you remember that's number 4 a filbert and a liner brush i pull out my flat brush number 4 and here is the palette sap green acrylic color olive green yellow acrylic color and white i'm loading my flat brush number 4 with yellow acrylic white as well as sap green and a bit of olive green now if i increase the amount of yellow in it then the mix turns even more lighter you add more of olive and it becomes darker paints are really magical and i love them well here i begin painting around the petals so here you can see i have more of olive green in the mix now this exercise will help to bring the pink purple rose to the foreground and you will see that in a bit at this point i have added more of yellow to the mix of greens and a dash of white i'm using my fingers to blend the colors as this helps to create a lovely natural look i keep on adding colors till i'm satisfied with the background the background becomes paler towards the right of the rose hmm this is looking pretty good to me and i'm happy with the outcome i hope you are happy too watching me paint this purple pink rose and trying to create the background around it i would like to know from you so do drop in your comments in the box below now friends if you would like to know more about the flower and leaf strokes then please click on the i button which appears to the right hand side corner of this particular screen i feel that the green background is enough so i went ahead and created just a handful of leaves here and there but in case you wish to know more about leaf strokes do check out the link i mentioned all right so it's time to convert the little painting into a note card so here i have a white side folding note card a tiny piece of purple pink rose painting and a gold card stock to frame around it when i put everything together this is how it looks so dear friends we have reached the end of today's tutorial hope you had fun watching me create the pretty purple pink rose on a note card also dear friends if you would like to connect with me on my social media handles it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you well dear friends signing off for today we'll be back very soon with more interesting floral painting tutorials till then keep creating and take good care of yourself bye bye